Welcome to PHP Tutorial for Beginner. If you are a complete beginner at PHP or if you want to learn PHP then this is a perfect tutorial for you because I am going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning about PHP. So first of all in order to write PHP report and run your PHP report you need to download and install XAMPP. So first of all let's go and install XAMPP. So for it just go to your browser and search for XAMPP. Download. Then here you can see www.apachefriends.org So we'll click here download Sam and I will also give this link in the description so that you can also download it from here. So here you will see a lot of PSU version or the Sam version. So we'll download the most latest version which is this one. So in order to download this, I just need to click over here. So I am using Windows so I need to download it from here. But if you are using Linux or OS X, then you need to download it from here. So since I am using Windows, so I'll click on this option. So I'll click on download button and it will take me to this page. And in a few seconds, the download will start automatically. And there you can see the download started here and it is around 150 MB. So it will take like 2 to 3 minutes to download. So right now I will just fast forward the video. And here you can see the download is complete. So right now I will just double click on this exe file. So I will just double click over here. And after that let me just minimize this. After that you will see something like this. So we need to click here OK. Then click next and just keep it whatever it is over here then click next and here you can make sure where your XAMPP will download so I'm going to download XAMPP or install XAMPP in this location if you want you can choose different location by clicking on this folder icon but I'm going to keep it how it is and then click next the language will be English then click next again and there you go it started installing so it will take a few minutes depending on your internet speed so again I will just fast forward the video and there you can see the installation is almost done and it is complete so if you just check this and click on finish it will open them automatically but for now I will just uncheck this and click on finish so XAMPP is installed so right now if I just go to my folder then if I just go to my local link C and here you can see that we have a XAM folder here and right now if we just go to our windows search option and search here XAM and there you can see XAM control panel and if you click on it it will open the XAM here and from here if you want you can run the apache and mysql there you can see it is running properly so we are able to successfully download and install XAM so right now in order to write our PHP code we need a code editor so for code editor we are going to use Visual Studio code and I'm going to show you how you can download this so let me just close those tab so here in the Visual Studio code we are going to write out PHP code so in order to download and install Visual Studio we need to write here Visual Studio code download just go to your windows search option and search for visual studio code and here you can see we have code.visualstudio.com so i'll just click here and i will also give this link in the description so that you can just directly come here and download it from here so if you are using windows you can download it from here if you are using linux or mac you can download it from here so since I am using Windows, so I am going to click on this option, Windows. And once you click on that option, it will start downloading automatically. There you can see it is downloading. And it is around 95 MB. So it will take a few seconds to download. So I will just fast forward the video. And there you can see the download is complete. So we can just directly double click from here or go to the folder location. And we can just double click over here as well and once you double click you need to accept the agreement let me just minimize those so that you can see it clearly you need to just first of all accept the agreement then click next 
then you can choose where you want to install your Visual Studio Code. I'm going to keep the default location and click next. Then click next again. And over here, I'm just going to click on this option. This select option, create a desktop icon, then click next. Then click install. And it is installing, there you can see. And this is the install location. So it will take a few seconds. And there you go, installation is complete. So if you just check this here and click on finish, it will open Visual Studio Code automatically. But I'm just going to click here finish. And here, if we just go to Windows search option or if we just directly double click here, it will automatically open our Visual Studio Code. There you can see. So over here, we'll be able to write our code. And there's a lot of theme you can choose. You can choose this theme or this theme. Normally, I prefer this theme, but some people prefer that out. So right now, let's go and write our PHP report. So how can we write our PHP report? And why do we write our PHP report? So in order to write a PHP report, what you need to do is that you need to go to the location where you install your XAMPP. So we install our XAMPP in local listing. There you can see XAMPP folder. So we can go inside the XAMPP folder. And inside the XAMPP folder, you will see a folder called htdocs which is this one so we need to go inside this folder and whatever php project we want to create we have to create it inside this folder so basically we need to go inside the xam folder then htdocs folder and here we are going to create our php code so let me just create a folder here so let me just click here new folder let's say my php tutorial uh, let's just keep everything smaller my php tutorial so let's say inside this folder we are going to create our PHP project so let me just open this using our visual studio code and one more thing i would like to mention is that if you want to write PHP code you must write it inside the HTML. docs if you write the PHP code in new volume d or f it will not off okay so let me just open this folder using Visual Studio port. So right now, I'll go to my Visual Studio port. Let me just close this. And here you can see we have a file option here. So I click on file, then click on open folder. Then I'll go to my local disk C, then XAM folder. Inside XAM, we have HDocs. And inside HDoc, here you can see my PHP tutorial. I'll just select it and Click here, select folder. And there you can see. It opened and I'm going to just uh, select this. Touch the audience all file. Yes, I touch the author. And we can just close this now. And here you can see we have a folder called my PHP tutorial. And there is nothing in this folder. So first of all, let's then create a file, PHP file in this folder. So in order to create a file, here you can see we have a new file option here. We have a log of here. You can see if we just click here, it will give us an input field like this. So we can say here index.php. So you can give any name here, but the extent chart should always be .php for PHP file. And one more thing that is when you are writing index, it means this will be the home base for our website. Okay, let's say you have 10 more files like uh, let's say about.php, contact.php. So every time we go to the website, it will always open the index.php file first. But for now, let me just give it a different name. Let me just rename it. Let's say here, home.php. And inside this home.php, let me just zoom in a little bit. So inside this home.php, we can write our PHP code or we can also write HTML code as well. So in order to write the HTML code, we just need to give this not sign and then click on tab and it will give us all the HTML things. So here, let's say H on tag. Uh, let's say H on tag opening and closing. And inside this H on tag, let's say PHP tutorial. So for now, we are just writing the HTML code, we will also write the PHP code as well. So right now, how can we run this file in the browser? So in order to run this PHP file in the browser, first of all, we need to 
open our XAMPP and we need to start our Apache and MySQL. So after starting the Apache and MySQL, we are ready to run our PHP project. So right now we'll go to our browser and in the browser, we are going to say localhost. Then we need to give a clone and here we need to say 8000. Then we need to give a slash here. And after that, here you can see we created our project inside the HD docs and the project name or the folder name is my PHP tutorial. So we are going to write this here. My PHP tutorial. After that, we need to mention our file name and the file name is home.ph or you can just check it from here as well. Here you can see home.php. So we are going to say here home.php then press enter. And this site cannot be reached. Uh, let me just check it. So here you can see our port is for Apache is 80. So we need to say here not 8000. It will be actually 80. So make sure to check your port number in your XAMPP. Okay. So let me just press enter here and there you can see it says PHP tutorial. So this is just a stable code. So how can we write PHP code here? So in order to write the PHP code, we need to give this arrow sign, then a question mark, then we need to set PHP. After that, we need to give another question mark, then this arrow sign. And so basically what we are doing is that we are saying that the PSP port will start from here and the PSP port will end over here. So if we write PSP port outside this tag, it will not work. So if we just say here, echo double clone my first PSP code and end it with a semi clone. If we now save it, uh, then if we refresh, there you can see my first PSP code. But if we just write this outside this PHP tag, let me show you. It will not work. Okay, so let me just show you. If you now refresh, there you can see it just showed everything with the echo. Now in PHP, we use echo in order to print anything. Okay, we can use echo or we can also use print. Let me just uh, write a few more echo. Let's say here, this time we'll say I like pizza if we save it then refresh here there you can see it says i like pizza but there you can see there is no space here so we can write this line in a different line so how can we do it all you need to do is that we can write some ht1 code inside the fish report like this way we can see here beyond that we attack will create a inter or space so if we now refresh there you can see it is in different line so you can also keep this in, uh, for example, H on or H2 tag. Let's say it will start here and uh, it will in here. You can do this as well. Let me just show you. Let me refresh and there you go. So those are all the basics of PHP. I hope this video was easy for you to follow. If you have any question or if you want to make any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.